The New Kid, part two. We've been dating for a while now, Adam and I. It's been about a month or so. Maybe even more. It was the last hour of the day. I waved to Adam as I head to my locker. I open it and get every everything ready for the last hour. Hey! I jump a little and look at him and smile. Hello! I say, and he smiles and laughs at me being silly. When he... When... He was done. He said, so here's the thing. I interrupted him by being a smart aleck and said, oh, there's the thing. I've been looking all over for this. I paused, making making a thinking face. Thing. He started to crack up and I smiled at him. I love to make him laugh. Meg, not what I mean. I know. I smiled. I said with a smile. Wow, well, my mom wanted you to come over for dinner. He told his parents about me? I think to myself. Is that alright? He continues. When? I ask. It's night. Is that okay? I guess so. Let me tell, uh... Okay, then. Tell who? He asked. No, I'm, I can make it, okay? I looked around for a teacher and then kissed him on the cheek. When's dinner? When is dinner? Then the bell rang. It said eight, okay? I smiled and nodded and turned to go to my class. My last class was science. Okay, class, the assignment is on the board. Pick a lab partner and get to work, our teacher said. I sat there and drew since, like always, in my old school, I never got a partner. Then this muscular football player-like guy walks over to me and says... You're my lab partner, kid. I look up at him. Do I know you? I'm Owen. You know my little brother, Tristan. Oh. Oh. I'm Owen. You know my little brother, Tristan. I call him Booger Brain. I smiled and st he stared at me then said, Yeah, I guess he can be a brat sometimes. I shrug. Nah, I'm a people. I shrug. Nah, I'm a people person, so he doesn't bother me so much. So we got this assignment to do. Let's get to it. And so we did. Neither of us knew what we were actually doing, so we just winged it. At the end of the class, I was packing up when Owen said to me, "Hey, look, um, Meg. Meg, I knew that." Look, there's this party that my friend's having at his place. It's, uh, next weekend. Do you want to join? It'd be great to... It would be great to have you there. I don't know. I have to ask Adam. Who? Adam Torres? Yeah. Why him? He said disgustingly. I gave him a death clear. He's my boyfriend. He laughed. Has he told you? Told me what? He chuckled. How long have you guys been together? About a month or so. Told me what? Whoa! Calm down. If you want to, know, if you want to go to the party, text me, and I give, I'll give you the information. He wrote down his number and put it in my bag. Then the final bell rang, and I stormed out of there, fed up with Owen. I put my things in my locker. I put my things in my locker. If there is something Adam needed to tell me, he needs to tell me now. I find him hanging out with his friends on the staircase outside of school. I walk up to him and say, Adam, hi. I say, oddly serious. Yes. Hi. He says, I need to talk to you. Alone. I look at his friends. Alone. Okay, he says. He says his goodbyes to his friends, and they return the bye. I try not to look mad at him, and I really, and I wasn't really. I just don't let my boyfriend keep secrets from me. What's wrong? He asked. So you know a guy named Owen, right? He frowned. Yeah. Why? He invited me to a party. Okay. And there I go. 
He shrugged. I don't see why not, but he's not all that nice. Um, he did say something about you. I don't care, he said, sounding like he was getting mad. I do. Why? He sounded pissed. He said there was something you needed to tell me. He looked at me. His eyes looked hurt. There's nothing you need to know. Yeah, there is. If there's, if he knows something I don't, it's concerning. Believe me, it was concerning enough, he mumbled. What? He kept staring at me. Never mind. Adam. I gotta go. I'll see you tonight. He got up and grabbed his backpack. Adam, wait. I ran after him. My brother is waiting for me. Waiting for me. Adam, please. He turned to me. Look, don't listen to Owen. He obviously wants you and is trying to get in your head. I hugged him tight and then he hugged me back. Then left. I just walked home. About 7.30, I ended up taking a shower. When I got up, I put my iPod in my hoodie po- in my hoodie pocket and began to leave when my, old, when, my, when my older foster brother says, Where are you going? To dinner with Adam and his fan- family. Who's Adam? My brother. Then I left. I showed up at his front door and knocked. I was wearing a dark blue jeans. I was wearing dark blue jeans and a purple shirt and a blue hoodie. Adam's op- Adam opens the door. Hello, he says and I wave and I wave at him. Come inside. Mi casa es su casa. Bless you. He laughs and said, "No, it means my house is your house." I tried <laughs> I trashed your place if I treated your house like my house. And you know I would. <laughs> I walk inside and see his mom setting the table. I wave politely. So you must be Meg. I nodded oddly. Oddly very cheerfully. I hope you like I hope you don't mind zucchini. Is that Spanish for food? Adam laughs and so does his mom. Mom, didn't I tell you she was funny? She she nodded. No. What is that? It's some sort of Italian. Oh, really? And what does that mean in Italian? I'm not really sure. Oh. I looked down, then went into the bath- bathroom. I looked down, then I went into the bathroom to wash up. I noticed that there was another guy here. And he has been giving me daggers. I assumed it was Adam's brother. I walked out of the bathroom and sat next to Adam. Mrs. Torres put a plate in front of me. I looked at Adam and smiled. I wonder what he needed to tell he needed to tell me but won't. I started to eat when my my phone buzzed. I looked down to see who it was. It was my dad. Yeah, my bi- biological dad. It was important. I'm sure he just wanted to cuss me out. But I had to answer it. Oh, I'm getting a really important phone call. May I go answer it? Sure. I got up and headed into the kitchen. I sighed and opened my phone. Hello. I don't know how you did it, but you killed her. Who? My mother. What? She's dead now because of you. What? My grandma's dead? Yes. I stood there, paralyzed in fear. My grandma was my world, and now she's gone? No more nagging, no more off-key singing, and no more hugs, no more getting treated right. I dropped my phone. My world has shattered around me once again. I started to shake. I was going to have a panic attack. I started to breathe heavy. I looked over and saw a knife on the shelf. I slowly walked over to it and put the... I slowly walked over to it and... I began to think of her. I loved her so. I started to scream out in pain and fall to my knees. I ra- raised the knife. Then I hear a Meg! I fall over to my side and had the fetal, posi- fetal position. I started to shake. Everything around me was going black. And the only thing I could hear was Adam's words. Oh baby, 
it's going to be okay.